Welcome to 2K Sports for another edition of NBA Basketball. Hi everyone, this is Kevin Harlan and joining us tonight, Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke. And reporting from the sidelines, our very own David Aldridge. Now, a look at Dallas' starting lineup. The star backcourt, Doncic and Irving are the guard set. At one forward, Thompson. At the other forward, Washington. And it's Gafford in at the five spot. And for Chicago, Levine and Williams up in the forward positions. Josh Giddy is out there with White. And it's Vucevic in at the center position. Greg, we're sure to see a lot of quality basketball here tonight, given the veteran talent on both sides. Yeah, tremendously high IQ from both teams. So expect a clean game. And some of these players have been through it all in this league. And it's the Mavericks to start out. Doncic with it. Gafford, bounce pass. Here's Washington, sinks the 15-footer. Washington. Washington's Assisted. got the game going here with the first Daniel basket for Gafford. the Mavericks. First points of the night, and you know this is going to be a battle of matchups. What's going to be fascinating to watch is which matchups are they willing to go exploit. Here's Levine, and the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Well, Daniel Gafford has carved out Doris a role in this league with his hustle, his intensity, and his rim protection. All of those things you just mentioned, Kevin, are skills. He plays hard on both ends. Gafford can defend the paint. He's going to crash the glass. He's going to run the floor. Listen, figure out how you can fit and do your job. And guys, get into a nice move here. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. First personal foul. First team foul. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. Thompson finds Doncic. Back to Thompson. Passes to Washington. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Williams passes to Vucevic. Plays it up and thinks it in. Vucevic has got a number of moves he can go to. So comfortable this close to the cup. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Well, a bit ago, Billy Donovan and I were able to talk. Now, if you think Luka Doncic is a problem, you're right. Coach told me he would beat the situation as well as anyone. They'll try to give him different looks. The goal was just to slow him down and try to make someone else beat us. We'll see where it ends up. Get it back to you. Thank you, David. And the Bulls will go for a different look here. Jalen Smith, he's checked in for Williams. Bruce Ellis comes in for Levine. Ayo Dosumu is checked in for Josh Giddy. And Ball subbed in for White. And the points coming for them now, Greg and Bunches. And we're seeing what a high-octane offense should look like. Lively against Vucevic. His shot is good, making it a perfect two for two from the floor. From setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? To me, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. Now, Vucevic. After Spencer Dinwiddie missing on that last three-pointer. Here's Smith. Over Kleba. And the Bulls tack on two more. You look at how quick he was to bite on the pump. They left his feet way too soon. And Dallas calls their first time on the game. Well, and looking to stop this run and get back on track. Really needs to settle his guys down right now and get them refocused. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Chicago with the ball. They pick up 11 straight. And Ball slams it in. Adding to their advantage, trying to find a way to blow this one open. One of the things they're doing is identifying favorable matchups and then going at them. 
down low. And finished off by Whitehead. And maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys on the bench. They are pumped up. And it looks like they are going to review the play. The question, did he get the basket off in time? And honestly, guys, in real time, I couldn't really see whether he got it off in time. But with the benefit of replay, it seems pretty clear that the clock expired just before the release. And they're keeping the call as it is it was close, but he had not released it before the clock had expired. Yeah, the still end of better safe than with sorry. I think they did right. from the jump. They've been working hard to establish themselves inside, using agility and power to get shots in the paint. And the other thing I love, how they're making the extra pass. They're not settling for the first shot. They're going from good to great. Levine and Williams up in the forward position. Kobe White is out there with Josh Giddy, and it's Smith in at the five, home in the paint. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. Now, here's Washington, and so it's going to be a three-second violation out there on the defense. Greg, every year, injuries are a huge factor in shaping the title race. And I'm guessing the teams will probably put more of a premium on durability. What do you think? Well, Kevin, I think all GMs take that into account. A team wants to be confident it'll have a stable roster over the course of a long season. Well, Thompson is known for that shooting ability, but deserves more recognition for his defense. He's got the size, the lateral quickness, and most importantly, the desire defensively. Here's Paul to the inside. And then Washington with the dunk. Well, they love to see Powell keep his eyes up and look for his teammates. The more assists they get out of him, the more dangerous their offense will be. And when you look at P.J. Washington, his value DB lies in his defensive versatility. Well, he's cross position. You can switch virtually every position with him on the defensive end. There's a strong physical presence, but maybe my favorite attribute is he's fearless. There's a toughness and an edge, and boy, you give him a big shot to take, he's not going to hesitate. The pass to get him. Nice pass. Well to the rack, perfectly for the layup. Giddy's got the lead up to eight now for Chicago. And so it's Irving. He brings it up for the Mavericks. With the drive. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact. And he'll go line for two. However you feel about Kyrie Irving, you cannot deny. Doris, he is an elite player still. Kevin, there are many who consider Kyrie Irving to be the greatest finishing guard in the history of the game. I mean, left hand, right hand, a little bit of English and polish, big shot maker. And what I love for Kyrie Irving right now is he seems content and happy. First one falls for him. Greg, you love this topic more than anyone when you think about the best ball handlers of all time. Where does Kyrie Irving rank on your list? Well, you know I think, Kevin, he's at the very top. I've never seen anyone else pull off some of the things he does. Certainly makes a strong case for the best ever. With a short break in the action, it gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Kevin, thanks. If you think Luka Doncic makes amazing shots in the games, you should see his trick shots. It's legendary stuff with his teammates. Luka says, I'm just making them up. I like to have fun, so sometimes I just try some new stuff. And of course, Kevin, always feels like they're going to Thank you, D.A. He is a magician with the ball. A very creative mind. And it's fun to watch. Well, we know, G.A., the Mavs are so adept at hunting the matchups they want. They're patient and methodical. Yeah, they, they never look like they're in a rush, right? Even when you send a double or trap the ball, the Mavs stay calm and know where to go. It's what makes slowing down their pick and roll so difficult. Now here's Vucevic. Good. Nice job down low. Vucevic has got six. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. Pass to Thompson. 
Here's Gafford. He has yet to score. Doncic kicks to Gafford. It's all in by the Bulls. They time it right. They can end this quarter with a two for one. And that's how you want to end the quarter. Zealous is shot as good. Head always From on a swivel. Making things happen with his passing. And so here is Dallas. The Bulls getting the bucket. Washington passes to Doncic. Out to the right wing. Just five on the clock. Nine feet out. Exum's shot is off. Bulls leading by ten. And White kicks to Giddy. Pass to Bucicic. And that's out of bounds. It was last touch by Gaffer. Active hands from him as he's able to get the on the pass. Out of bounds. That's what you call a game of inches. They talk about it in football. We see it right there. Nine seconds left in the first half. Right wing. Here's Bruce Ellis. And it's off from three-point range. That's the end of the and first half. And so it's the with a 10-point lead, some breathing room 24. heading into the break. Their defense the has been terrific in this 14. game. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Man, he's been running wild on them through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. Boy, he has been shouldering the load. Aggressive, skilled, talented, and thus far, unstoppable. On the floor for Dallas. So they got the wing along with Johnson. Big man on the floor for him. It'll be Washington and Gafford. And it's Doncic in at the one. And we talk to people about the Bulls. GA Michael Jordan shadow still looms large over this team and organization. And Kevin, they haven't won a championship before or since he Just was Chicago. Giddy. They've had plenty of good players. Derrick Rose and MVP, Jimmy Butler as well. But the results haven't been there. Here's Doncic. The Bulls getting the butter. And maybe the that'll assist. trigger them. Impossible the not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys in the bench. They are pumped up. Vucevic with the bucket. Now, Nikola Vucevic can score against excellent defense. That is a good Two finish in the third. Doncic passes to Gaffer. Now, here's Thompson. A minute 50 left to play here in the third. Gafford misses. The Bulls leading by 12. Inside. Here's Williams. That's good. And so Giddy with the assist. Giddy's got his fourth assist in this one. Doncic against White. Doncic kicks to Thompson. Outside Irving. And he hits the jump shot. Seven points for Kyrie Irving. That is pure for Kyrie. Fantastic working off the catch. Two minutes into the second half of play now. Back to Williams. Out to White. On the wing, Giddy. Lock at six. Williams for three. And the Bulls get it back. On the wing, Giddy. Shot clock at six. And the Bulls tack on two more. Slow rotation there defensively, and he gets a wide open look from mid range. And I'll tell you, you look up at the scoreboard, that's correct. They have a big lead for a reason. Now, here's Washington. Outside Irving. Doncic. Back to Washington. And the foul on Daniel Gafford. Daniel That's Gafford. his first foul. First personal foul. Substitution on the court. And it's Smith with the ball. He brings it up for Chicago. 14 points, their largest lead in the game. Pass to White. And here's Smith. Guarded by Powell. Puts it up. 
And he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. And so Chicago with a 14-point lead as we bring the quarter to a close. You are getting great to have that from the shooting guard spot. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Andrew Williams is out there with Bruce Ellis. And it's Smith. Then it's Dosumu. And it's Ball in at the one spot. That's the group on the four for Chicago. The pass to Smith. It's good. The assist that time from Ball. And it's six points for Smith. That's what you call playing with passion and getting after it, Jalen Smith. Marshall can't hit. Well, this is the kind of shot we've come to expect him to make. He's got to be upset with that one. Pass to Buzelis. Bulls moving the ball around. Ball with the bucket. Ball with the ball. 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 Tremendous confidence in that shot. As soon as the pass hits his hands, he's ready to pull up. Now, here is Irving. To the paint. Two minutes in the game. Smith is hosting. It's going to be over the bad. Not watching for the line that time. Maverick's ball. And the Bulls making a change here. Vucevic has checked in. Then for the Mavericks, Washington comes in for Dwight Powell. And it's Quentin Grimes in for Marshall. Grimes. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. The Bulls leading by 18. Now Williams. Takes the three. Trains the three-pointer. Three. Yeah, they're rolling right now. That trade continues to grow. And one of the things that's helped that is they're getting it done on both ends. Terrific focus on offense, and they're locked in defensively. And here are the Mavericks now. Following the three-point basket by Chicago. Dinwiddie outside. Six on the shot clock. To the right side. Lively finds Washington. Misses the wing jam. The Bulls have gotten all three of their shots to drop here in the fourth quarter. They came out of the break on a roll. And, and as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout. Big time dominance. And, and this will go in the record books as a gouting win. This is a team performing to its fullest uh, capability. A, a hugely satisfying win. A, a, a game that not many will soon forget. And on the other side, one that I think Washington. most will try to free. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for Kobe White. I think it would be impossible to overstate the influence he had on this basketball game. He was the centerpiece of what they did on the offensive end and the anchor of their defense. That's as complete a performance as we've seen. He brings it from beyond the arc. Oh, oh, saw the opportunity to put this away, and you could see the killer instinct take over. And you want to save your best for last. Tonight, they've done that and then some. Vucevic against Lively. Two seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. And it's the Bulls with the ball. They've played a great fourth quarter defensively, allowing only three points. On the wing, Williams. Pass the ball. Jacks up a three. And so Chicago takes this one and by a big margin. They poured it out tonight. The ball is showing in front of the crowd. And loved every minute of it. And you know, this game could really be a defining one for what they can do and what, what they are playing at their staff. best. I mean, Thanks being here at home, no doubt helps. And the execution was flawless.